Now this video is going to be about uh, the Honeywell two-stage gas valve and this is a VR9205Q series uh, gas valve used on newer uh, furnaces. And what I'm going to do is just show you some of the parts and then I'm going to demonstrate the operation a little bit. So uh, there's the on-off switch there for manually turning off the gas valve. Uh, the service taps, the input one is down here, and I'm actually tapped into that one. And then the manifold output tap is on top. Okay. Um, then the other adjustments are going to be the high. This is the high and this is the low fire pressure regulator adjustment. So take those caps off and you can adjust it with a screwdriver. Uh, I believe this one comes spec from the factory at three and a half inches water column for high and 1.7 inches water column for low. Um, and then if you're just wondering where, what some of this stuff is, this is actually going to be the solenoid that controls uh, the high stage heat. And actually how this works is it's, it's very similar to a regular single stage gas valve except it adds this extra high stage uh, so normally how this works is you have to have both the low and the high open if you want to be on high stage so you can start with just low only and low actually is the larger solenoid down here and if you look at the current specs the low actually takes more current about 0.4 of an amp and then the high only takes an additional 0.2 for that little solenoid so in order for this to be open at all, the low has to be energized the whole time. So I'll demonstrate that now. What I've done is tapped into the, the lines here, and you can see that there's a C, H, and L. So common, high stage, low stage wire. And I'm hooked into the transformer power and also the high stage. And I'll let you hear that. I'll just connect it here. Okay, so high is on, off. And I actually do have the gas on right now, and as you can hear, the gas is not flowing. Okay, because again, that low uh, solenoid is not open, that's the main gas valve, so if that's closed, uh, opening the high isn't going to give you any gas. Okay, and I can verify that high one is the active one if I use my on contact voltage meter that goes off on those wires and if you get a piece of metal and hold it next to this thing you can kind of feel it's magnetic a little bit Get that in the frame better very slightly magnetic okay but if we disconnect it we test again Okay, that prove you can also feel it hum and it gets warm and all that stuff. So I'm sure that's the the high solenoid. Okay, now I'm gonna reconnect and we'll do the low solenoid. Okay, I'm reconnected onto the low solenoid and let's take a listen to that one. All right, now that's a much more substantial clunk as you can hear. Now that would actually be two solenoids opening, the main gas valve solenoid, and then also the servo solenoid, which is going to control the pressure to the diaphragm in there. So that's what it sounds like. And let's turn the gas on and listen to that one briefly. Okay, you heard the gas hiss there. I'll do it one more time. And you may have also noticed that there is a slight delay there um, between when the solenoid clicked open and when the gas started flowing. And that's actually on purpose to slow the amount of um, uh, gas produced down so that the flame lights more slowly and evenly. Okay. So that's the low side. So again, uh, if you want low stage, you can just have the low open. If you want high stage, you need both the low and the high open. Okay, and again, if you want to test this, it's energized right now. Okay, that's going off. 
de-energized. Okay. So that is the basics of the Honeywell two-stage gas valves on modern direct ignition furnaces.